My name is Andrew Stanton, and I'm a firmware engineer. By trade, I do a lot of electrical systems engineering too, but I write code, program the, the ECUs in the vehicle, and uh, help bring all the systems together. So system integration as well. Battery management system is a set of computers actually that have a lot of different inputs and outputs that take care of the battery, really. Uh, make sure the battery is operating within the conditions that it needs to operate. So that's temperature, voltage, and it's on an, in uh, a cell level. So it's very important that the cells stay balanced and it also accounts for safety of the battery. So it's not only safety of the cells, but also safety of the people that would be working with it. And so it has um, isolation monitoring because it's a high voltage battery. So it keeps track of that as well. And uh, also optimizing the, the um, status of the battery as far as your state of charge and your state of health, things like that. Well, it's really important as an OEM to have vertical integration over critical systems. So you need to have control over a system as critical as the battery. So we are doing our own custom battery and that means that we need to have influence over, uh, direct influence over how we manage that system. When you think about the difficulty that it is to say, hey, you know, try to describe to a contract manufacturer what you want built and then uh, have them build that and then say, okay, but the vehicle changed a little bit or our needs changed or something like that. Well, now you're gonna to have to go back to them and re, you know, redesign as opposed to having the firmware engineers, the hardware engineers in-house saying, yeah, we can make that change and we can make it right away. You know, and then you have control over the testing as well and the validation, all of that stuff. So it really makes changes easier and, and sourcing, all of that. There are, let's see, eight different circuit boards in the um, battery management system in the in the battery pack. Uh, there are six modules and so each one of those modules gets a circuit board. That circuit board has a chip on it which is doing all the cell readings and uh, doing the temperature readings and balancing the cells and so there's six of those, one for each module and that circuit board gets integrated into the module. The module is you know, about that big and there's six of them. And then there's one circuit board, which is the battery control unit. And that is the main brain of the system. So it is the one that queries all of the modules and reads out their critical information and also uh, can configure them for when to balance the cells and things like that. Now that main control board also has the purpose of controlling all the safety mechanisms of the pack. So it's controlling all the contactors. So there's uh, big, basically big switches, electrical switches that can turn on and off the high voltage connection. And depending on the conditions of the pack and when, you know, whether we're charging, discharging, solar charging, um, DC fast charging, all those different things, the battery control unit has to know which contactors need to be closed and open when. And so it's really control in control of all those things. Well, it's, it's unique because it's Aptera's own design. So I said before, we're building a custom pack. And so it's 100% custom to our exact pack needs. So the circuit boards fit perfectly within the module. They integrate into the module. Uh, the battery control unit board and the PDU board, which has all the contactors on it, those are sized exactly to our battery packs specifications and where it fits into the vehicle. You notice the vehicle is very uniquely shaped. So there's very unique size constraints and space constraints. And so it fits in that way, as well as the features of the pack. So because we have control of the BMS, we define all the features of the BMS. And so, yeah, there are some custom features that we're putting in there. The, the whole software package can come over the infotainment system and then into all the ECUs that need them. And the, the BMS is gonna be no exception. For example, if you find a critical bug in your system, you can send a software package that's been tested 
down to the vehicles and update them and, and fix those things or add features as needed. Now, the battery management system probably is not one that's gonna be getting updates that often, uh, but certainly we'll, we'll have the capability to do that. And so if you run into a situation where, you know, you do have to do a critical update to the battery management system and you need to bring your vehicle in for a recall, you don't actually have to bring it in those fixes are able to be pushed out. And it's similar to what we see as the, the industry standard today. The battery management system absolutely knows about solar charging. In fact, it has a dedicated solar input because if you think about it, the solar charger is having to produce high voltage as well. The battery management system and the solar charger have to work together to, to make sure that everything is safe. And so the battery management system has the ability to disconnect the charger. If something's going wrong, it can just say, hey, you know, you're overcharging me for whatever reason, and it should never do that, but in a, you know, a fault condition where things are not going properly, the battery management system has the ability to protect itself against that situation. To keep your cells balanced, that means, you know, obviously they're, the cells are storing chemical electrical energy, and they, they can be charged up or they can be discharged, but when you're running them in series, the one cell in series could be higher than another. And if you're charging the battery up and that high cell hits its upper limit before the other ones, well, now you have to stop charging. You can't charge anymore. And so what you need to do is keep those cells balanced. The same thing happens on the discharge. If you're discharging and the low cell reaches its low end before the others, well, now you have to stop discharging. And so that's your effective capacity. And if they're not balanced, your effective capacity is gonna be limited. And so it's very important to keep them balanced and that's how you maximize your capacity, maximize your range, and you know, keep the cells safe as well because you don't let them go over their upper and lower limits. Yeah, so we're currently uh, validating our BMS system. We have the modules up and running and the BCU is in validation right now, along with the PDU, which is where all the contactors I was describing are. And uh, we're excited to get some packs uh, in the vehicles on the road very soon with our own custom BMS system.